Hey, Coin Collectors, it's DC on the Big D, and we're looking at the 1963 Washington Quarters from the United States of America. An MS-68, which sold for $16,100. And we see what the one on the left here, I'll tell you, is a Philadelphia Mint coin. You can't really tell until you turn it over onto the back but it is. And this one here on the right is a Denver Mint coin. And we'll talk about why, when you look at these, if you follow collectors and follow values, you'll decide that this one here on the right is probably the most valuable of the two and maybe worth twice as much as the other one. In fact, this one on the right could be getting close to the 50s even in dollars, even though this one on the left is just a beautiful, beautiful coin. So what are we talking about here? In 1963, they did have proof sets. And so if you got a proof set coin from 1963, of which they made 3,075,645, the proof sets in 1963 cost $2.10, and they are currently worth about $25. And that's because, of course, they have the half dollar, the quarter, the dime are all silver. Well, this is a proof-like 1963 quarter. And the U.S. Coin Digest called the proof-like 1963 quarter worth $15 or more. And we look at this one. And if it's a proof 65, it's worth 15. This right now is better than a proof 65. Way, way, way better. Um, how much more? I don't know, because we're not going to spend the cost to get it graded by PCGS, but uh, you collectors out there, you can feel free to take a look at this as we go through it, and you can see if you uh, disagree with me about the value of this coin. So as we go across the top on the back, it says United States of America, E Pluribus Unum here, a really, really, really well-defined head on this eagle with the eyes, and you can see the line it, where the beak kind of goes through. That line's a hard line to see on almost every coin. It almost looks like it comes down off the eye and circles around, but it doesn't. It's actually the line on the beak where the mouth closes. If we look down, we don't have a great deal of feathers uh, on these legs, but in terms of this particular coin, that's kind of how the die looked when they did it. Now, they did something else on this proof like coin, and that is they had kind of a higher level um, of this olive wreath at the bottom. So we see the eagle is holding a shape of arrows, and you can actually see the, the uh, really pinpoint the pricks of the talon down here where it gets really sharp. And you can see the lines through the arrows here. You can see the ribbon holding it, and the tail is just great down here. It just barely touches on this side and almost touches on this side of the wreath. And then down at the bottom, you see quarter dollar, and you will not find a more defined um, lettering than that on any coin. So uh, this is pr this may be a proof 66 or 67, and you'd be talking about some more dollars there, 50 to maybe $100 if you could get it rated. But at the very least, we know it's a proof 65, and it's probably worth $15 minimum. Now this coin over here, you're going, well, if you're not a collector or a big time collector, you say, yeah, it's a little, a little dirty. It has the D on the back. Uh, again, we know it's the 1963. Uh, we know it's 90% silver. These coins first came out in 1932 on George Washington's 200th birthday. If we tip it up a little bit here, we see that there is a J and an F down here, very well defined except for a little coloring. Over here we see the In God We Trust, again, very well defined. And love, love that G. See how the G kind of has the spike coming down out of it? That's really hard to see in these coins. And the R coming down through, and the N almost looking a little bit like a backwards N in there. So this, this coin, again, is very, very defined. Little scratches on Washington, but no big deal. Uh, the Liberty at the top looks great. Little kind of coloring up there, little scratches on the head. This coin here, there were two Denver Mint coins that came out. And this one has just a 
hugely defined back on it. And that's why I think this coin is probably worth more. It does have the coloring, but look at the head on that eagle. So you can not, you can see the line, the line is so sh sharp and sticks out so much that it actually catches the light. The little line going across the top of the head is more defined than almost any coin you'll see. It says United States of America, that coloring kind of rainbow coloring, E Pluribus Unum. We go down here, we have some good feathers on the body, not great on the legs, but for a Philadelphia mint coin, we get down here, we see the talons, again, really defined there. And again, a pretty well-defined, well, excellently well-defined um, all olive wreath down here. And then the D's, like, just okay, that might be the worst. And then down here it says quarter dollar. Now, this kind of coloring, if you look on the PCGS website, the coins that the collectors like have this kind of coloring that just encroaches more and more into the center. So you get this kind of coloring that comes all the way in. And the one that they show on the PCGS website, which incidentally is an MS-68, which sold for $16,100. It has so much more coloring that George Washington's nose actually is somewhat colored by this uh, patina. Now this is the $24,000 patina from the PCGS website. And look at this coin. It's just a beautiful coin. Not only does it have the coloring that goes all the way around Washington and actually comes right over onto his nose, but it also has incredible detail. You can see what I was talking about though. Even though this is a Mint State 68, not a lot of feathers on the legs. But look at the detail in that bird's beak. Just incredible. You can actually see a number of lines on the head of the eagle. And then when you look at Washington, you can see just really good detail all the way down across here. But this is what the collectors loved the most, I think, was that just immense coloring on there. And that's why in 2022 at a Stax Bars auction, somebody paid $24,000 for this coin. So this coin here could certainly be worth in the hundreds if it got graded. And what you'd have to do to get into the hundreds is to get graded at an MS. 67 or above. At an MS66, there have been some MS66s that have sold for 400 in the um, the 1963Ds, but if you can get up to an MS66+, plus, you're definitely going to get close to 100 these days, and if you can get up to an MS67, you're going to be talking about 500 to 1,000 Actually, one MS67 is sold for as much as 4800 So while this coin and this coin, this one's certainly, certainly the shinier one, the more beautiful coin in terms of just visual appeal, this one over here is probably the more valuable coin. This one here is probably worth 15 to 30 This one over here is probably worth uh, 85 to 400 depending on how it got graded. All right, that's all we have today.